Gonna take my horse to the old town road. Is it taking so long? I think I'm going Oh gosh, sweet choice. Sad. Oh gosh. I'm going in my stable now. Okay. Uh, I haven't been on Star Sable for two weeks. <laughs> Smokey, you have the right to be mad at me today. I cannot literally functionate right now. Oh my gosh. I will probably be going insane a lot in this video because I'm quarantined. It's Black Kitty 2017 and welcome to another video. Today, as you can tell, I'm going literally insane. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think it's because my stress levels are like from here to. But um, I'm unstar stable now and uh, now doing this update when it's two weeks old. I have a feeling, yes, Smokey, you may get replaced in this video. Oh no, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, you're, you're still gonna be my Smokey, but um... Yeah, I probably have enough for two horses, so that's a good thing for you, not for me. As you know, the American Quarter Horses, my dream update has seen. I don't know if it's my dream, though, because I'm literally going insane, and I don't know what my dreams are. Is this even my horse? Okay. No. We got the new tack, and then we got a lot of people uh, seem to like me reviewing Starshine Ranch, even though it was <coughs> a little late. That's okay, I suppose. This is two weeks late, so excuse me for that. That don't stop me, and that doesn't probably stop stop me from buying them so smoky you can uh, just ignore me Bruh. so we're gonna step out here and we're gonna go hit straight to the american quarter horses because right as i walk out of this door there's gonna be an american quarter horse i bet you anything oh yep yep um yeah I oh, oh gosh i am going insane at the moment okay they it looks like they only have three okay Wait, do they only have three colors? I don't have my iPad with me. It's charging. Uh, I'm in love. Okay. Actually, no, I'm not in love. I am the love. These are these the love. I don't know. Oh, very fancy over there. Doing an illusion. Oh, yes. Is there any more American card horses? I'm guessing not. So, uh, wait, is there? I don't know. Those are the only ones, really? What other colors are they coming out with? Okay, turns out I'm probably just gonna buy however many. Oh, wait, there are 950 star coins. Ooh. Yes. I don't have my calculator on me. What is 950 times 3? Yeah, I don't have that money. What is 950 times 2? Did it even go? The answer is 1,900. Oh, goody. I only have room for one horse. Okay, so it looks like I only have room to buy one, even though I thought I had room to buy two. Alright, so we're just gonna probably just preview these here as I quietly make my decision. First off, I really want to address this. Just by looking at this, they ace this pretty well, just by the animations here, and just by their shape and just how low their heads are. I mean, personally, my American Quarter Horse does not have her head low that much. It's probably a little bit higher, but wait a minute. Where are they? Wait! Are there more colors? Just hang on a darn minute. Whoa! Oh yeah, no! no. <laughs> okay, let's look this up because I want to see what else there is. Isn't there like, okay, star stable. Where's the data at? What the data? Okay, they got these. What else did they- Oh, they got the Palomino! Oh, that Fort Pinta. That's actually really pretty. Wait, what other colors are they planning to come out with? Oh, they're coming out with a dapple gray. Oh, Fort yeah! And that color. Oh, how many colors? But I think I'm actually gonna get one of these because I like the Palomino and everything, but I feel like- Oh, no! Probably because I'm closer and I don't want to spend the- Shillings to get there. 
totally fine. I feel like everybody's kind of excluding the other three that are at Starshine Ranch, and I feel totally bad for them because I grew up with quarter horses my whole life. Hey, this is actually a really pretty Palomino. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, this one actually is really pretty. I could see it as a Western type. Uh, a Western horse, well, obviously, because it, I, I mean the color, okay? I mean, it's very cute. It's very stylish once you put some tack on it. The Palomino is kind of a bright color. My mom used to have a Palomino, and it's pretty close to this Palomino. I just feel like, since it's a really popular color, I feel like I should give some love to the other ones. I, I love the Palomino. Don't diss on me for this. I, I love the Palomino, but since I am an American Quarter Horse lover and everything, I want to give love to the ones that don't have a lot of love right now. I, don't, I know I haven't done this for any other horse, but I just feel like I should do it. So I'm going to ask Global, which horse do they dislike the least? Five minutes later. Okay, literally, I am asking people in Global, and this is like... A child's mother in the- Why are you on here? Okay, and people are saying that their least favorite is the Palomino. Girl, I've been seeing so many of the Palomino. And their favorite is the black. Uh, they're calling it black, but it's really black and white. Like a- Okay, you know what? Screw this. I don't honestly know what they are, like, talking about. Because I have seen so many Palominos around and Red Rones. But I don't know, no. but, like- okay. I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna go to my trusty wheel to side. Okay, we got those all set up to spin. I don't want lag. It's lagging again. Why? This wheel is rigged. It's rigged. Okay, I need your help. The American Quarter Horses came out. Which color do you like? Stop. No, dogs, get off. Like that. Hang on, I haven't even showed you all the colors yet. Well, that wasn't expected. She didn't like the Palomino. I seriously don't know. I done the wheel. I did my mom. I honestly don't know. Ooh. Orange is not that horse's color. Take my advice. Please. You know what, guys? I'm just gonna screw it, and I'm just gonna go with my mom's um, advice. Even though I love both of these and the Palomino. Ooh, that's a really good outfit. I'm gonna just go with this one. Oh, yes. And I'm going to name this pretty boy Apple Tornado. I don't know. I just see a kind of a fierce way in this horse. I mean, I've been with quarter horses my whole life. And knowing them, they are really fiercely loyal oh. horses. They are super calm, but they're really aggressive at the same time. Not in a, like, mean way, but I mean, like, in a competitive way. And I'm just picking Apple, obviously, because of his apple, like, color and roam. And Tornado, just because I feel like I would name a quarter horse a Tornado if it had this kind of coat color. And I don't know, I, it's just, I don't know, don't judge me, okay? All right, so I'm really happy with Apple Tornado and we're, hey, Smokey, you actually might have not gotten placed in this video because they haven't came out with them. Never mind. Oh gosh, all of my horses are furious at me and they have the right to be. And the trouble is, is that I'm probably going to buy him a tax set. Um, maybe a bit later, because I'm kind of... Wait, how much do I have? Yeah, okay. So let's actually go buy this beauty horse some tax. Maybe a bit later. And we gotta dress him up a little bit, just because... Just because, guys, don't judge me. Alrighty, so I think that this is going to be Apple's tax set. I'm a wild horse because, well, um... For obvious reasons. I don't have enough money for a, a full-on outfit. So we're just going to focus on him. So I got him the rosette tack set. And I think it fits him pretty well. And just being honest with you guys. Personally, I don't have a ring or a pad over the bridle of their nose. I usually have something like what Smokey has. I have something that doesn't have a nose over at all. It looks 
nice and fancy and everything, but I just prefer it not having the nose band over it. So with that being said, let's actually take a good look at him. So starting him off, we got a calm walk. Oh my gosh, his head is calmly low. It's calm. And I think I really like this. If you come up here, it kind of looks like, hey, I'm coming for you type. The head is just gorgeous low like this. I mean, my horse probably has her head low like this all the time. Probably not as low. I don't know. I, I don't record myself when I ride. All right, I try. It looks pretty smooth. I mean, unlike my horse, who uh, is definitely not smooth. And I could actually really appreciate this because every quarter horse I have had had a pretty coarse trot. And I was just bouncing all over the place, to be honest with you. And then the canter is pretty smooth. Again, it lays down its feet pretty well. It's the same with its pasturings and everything. I'm not going to get into terms and everything, but I actually really like it. It raises its head a little bit as it gets faster, which is perfectly fine. I mean, American Quarter Horses are supposed to do that, and it's really smooth. I just can't get enough on how smooth this is. And then the full-on canter. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty fast for just a level one horse. I don't honestly watch my horse at Gracie run all the time, but she has her head a little bit higher than what this horse has, and this horse is a, a lot thicker than my horse, so I will give him that. I really like this. I can really appreciate the Star Stable having their head low when they walk, because that shows that they're calm, relaxed, and obedient, which is what they stand for. Their mane and tail is is pretty good and it's pretty like flare not as flary as the Frisian obviously but it's really well detailed for the American quarter horse so with that being said let's go ahead and see their reigning spin my horse sometimes does this I make her do this when she's behaving really bad so let's go ahead and see that Ooh. so that actually is really cool my horse doesn't do it as fast as that but I really like it I know a lot of people that would criticize them on this and find it funny please don't criticize them on this this is actually part of the western culture so i really like that it's really cool and then let's see the back up a little bit oh yes yes my horse does this perfectly my horse does this all the time has her head completely low okay i'm gonna actually shut up about this because y'all are probably getting annoyed at this and then finally last but not least is the rear which is probably gonna be really Really stylish all right pretty fancy pretty good i mean it has its little wild twerks to it by wild twerks i mean like it pulls its feet up close to its chest and i really like that that's like a rare that i've never really seen because i've never seen my horse rear last thing i want to touch base with is oh gosh i have to go through these pile of people that are looking at my horrible Holiday. outfit that's all purple and all is the hair design is there a hair design somewhere? oh there's well i'm gonna go do those later okay i honestly cannot find a hairstylist in this area which is okay i guess <laughs> So I'm gonna go to Steve's farm. Lovely, Steve. All right, so let's see what hair design. Okay, so they do have a new one. That's what I thought it was. All right, so they make it into some braids, some stylish braids. I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I don't know why you would change it to any of these, especially this one. So I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is just because I have the love of just the Western wild look of a of the mane. I think I could really get along with this horse. I'm honestly feeling a deep connection with this horse and it's probably because I know how well Star Stable put this quarter horse together and I think they were very careful about choosing their characteristics. They study their horses very well and I really appreciate it. I don't know if Apple Tornado is going to be a racing horse or not. I just have to find out and see. So oh my gosh! You still have the same coat color and plaid mane and tail so with that being said thank y'all so much for watching sorry if i was a bit radical in the beginning
thank y'all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the great herd, which is um me dressed up in this purple tack and that lovely uh, American quarter horse, also known as Smokey, covered up in that fabulous purple jam tack. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you think of the American Quarter Horse because I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye! Come on.